Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and we are here today to do another uh, Messages from Beyond. Uh, I really truly hope that this resonates forever who needs to hear this message at this time. So let's just get into it here and find out what spirit would like to say. Okay. I'm trying to pick up on the, that's why the look, I'm trying to pick up on the energy. I feel it's a small boy, a small young energy boy who passed away. I'm feeling that he sees that this is directed towards a mom here. Uh, he watches over you, okay? He wants to give you the confidence and knowledge, knowing that he's okay. He's happy on the other side. He is sorry for his passing. He kind of feels your energy of such a sad energy. There's a lot of regret that you feel, okay? Uh, I should have done more. I should have. I should have seen this coming. I should have, you know, the shoulda, woulda, coulda's kind of thing. No, mom, I'm okay. You know, like he's literally saying that. He can hear your thoughts. He wants you to heal. He wants you to know. He definitely picks up on your energy in regards to your thoughts here. And he wants you to heal with the star, clarifying that magician. So he definitely picks up on your energy and what you're saying here, but there's nothing to be sorry about. I keep hearing, don't be sorry about it. You know, you did the best you could, you know, it just was supposed to be. I'm trying to still pick up on how uh, he passed, but definitely... I feel like he is trying to say, I try to communicate to you to let you know that I'm okay. You know, that this is not your fault, but there's some kind of, uh, you know, barrier. There's some kind of blockage with getting through to you. Maybe this message will definitely help if you are resonating with this, but it's our energy of feeling regret of sadness that lowers our vibration. Just a brief explanation. That's why you can't hear him. And he wants you to heal your energy because he sees the trauma and the guilt that you live with. Absolutely not. He smiles over you. He loves you. Mm. Yeah. I feel there's two different messages here. He doesn't he doesn't know why you beat himself hurt yourself up. I'm stuttering. Uh, but I definitely feel that he could have stuttered too for me to do that. Uh, but definitely regardless, I feel that or he did use to stutter. But anyway, I feel that there's definitely a lot of confusion. He's confused because he doesn't understand why uh, he can't get through to you. And he and he's can he sees the confusion with what you're thinking here of feeling bad, but he just doesn't understand it. He wants you to get past this. He wants you to get past the stagnation of guilt and really work on uh, your energy here. But I keep feeling why? Why did he go? Why did this have to go? There's a lot of guilt. There's going to be, I can feel the tears. I can definitely feel the tears uh, coming on. But I definitely feel this has been, this could have happened a while ago, like five years ago even. And there's still guilt here. Uh, but definitely I feel that you think about him. Oh, I, I totally under, I, I get it. You know, losing a child is no fun, you know. Uh, it's very traumatizing, but you beat yourself up and you blame yourself here. Uh, but it's almost kind of like, well, why won't he talk to me? Why can't I, why can't I not so much hear him, but why, why won't he talk to me? Why won't he correspond? Won't, why won't he let me know that he's okay? Now you could have made some kind of simple pack with him. Okay. Before he passed, like, please let me know that you're safe and, and good on the other side too, but you can't hear him because your vibration level is living with so much guilt. It's so low. And when we're dealing with spirits in the new book, uh, but definitely when we're dealing with spirit, you have to raise that vibration. They, they are on a different plane than us. We're on a natural, like a level five here, you know, when your vibration levels to all that guilt and sadness, which is totally understandable. I'm not defending, you know, going against that at all. I get it. Been there myself. But it, you go down to like a two or a three. You want to raise that up even past the five, okay, to be able to receive those messages really heal. By doing so, you have to heal your energy and release that guilt. Maybe Reiki. I did hear Reiki as well 
will help you. But I literally feel you saying, well, how come I can't get confirmation, Deb? Why won't he talk to me? Why won't he confirm that he's okay? Does he not hear you? He hears you. He watches over you. He visits you. I keep hearing seven. He could be six, though. But definitely, it's or he or he is six, and he thinks that he he's going to be right. Yeah, I hear you. Right before his birthday is when he passed. So you know when we're little, I used to do this too. You know, and you'd be like ten, but you go around, and you tell all your friends and family. Now nah, I'm going to be eleven. I'm going to be eleven. I'm a big girl. You know, I feel that that's what he's doing. You know, so he's kind of because he's he keeps saying seven, 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 but I feel that it's wrong. <laughs> I do. I feel it's more six than anything. So he, he wanted to get bigger before his bridges, you know, <laughs> well, that's cute. But definitely I feel that you're kind of out there and you're like saying like more so at night could be even. Uh, but I literally feel why can't I hear him? Why can't I? Because you have to calm your mind with the four swords. You know, I do feel though when you do raise your vibration and you heal your energy, he could definitely be showing himself if he hasn't already. Uh, be presenting himself in dreams that will literally feel, wow, that felt really, really weird. It felt so real. That's really him. That's also in the new book. So definitely, um, yeah, be on the lookout for A, healing that energy of guilt. He doesn't want you to feel bad. He doesn't want you to, he's actually worried about you and he's trying to communicate, but you, you, you know, he does come to you in dreams. I do feel that. I do feel for somebody though, uh, they've already tried to, but it, it, yeah, I definitely feel that. Okay. The hard times are done. You don't have to worry about me here. He wants you to get past the same energy here. Wow, he really worries about you. He definitely, he is definitely acting like a bigger boy on the other side. Like he's mature uh, on the other side, you know. Now for that, even with the King of Pentacles looking at your energy of the mother figure here, this could definitely mean that this has happened. It could be within five years even, you know. But he's still presenting himself as that young energy when he first passed, you know. But he's matured. Uh, but I definitely feel that, you know, you want answers here. You know, you want action uh, in finding out and, and, and ways for you to be able to move forward, to show the action, to heal, okay, to end the pain here. But there's still a little bit of unsolved mystery with, um, you know, why did you go kind of thing, you know. Uh, you're going to be working on yourself, but there's a lot of sadness. I mean, look at her face. I mean, I know cards can't change expressions, but that looks very, very sad to me. It's kind of like you're moving forward, uh, you know, um, but but still extremely sad and, and kind of putting on a front uh, for some people out there that you are dealing with work work people uh, who are asking you even to this day, are you all right? You might, you may kind of uh, daze out or phase out, you know what I mean? Like that stare that we do, you know, at times where you can't blink until you finally do blink or your thought process is just rolling with this information. So it could be at work too, but you're definitely still sad, but you're trying to remain balanced here, but you're looking at that tower. So you're still beating yourself up with unanswered questions. You're going to move past that. You know, you're going to have flashbacks of whatever took place as well. But I do feel that there's going to be movement of feeling that connection. Awesome. Awesome. You're going to move away from that. You're going to raise your vibration here. And I do feel that you're going to feel a very stronger connection. I feel that in the future, if this hasn't happened already, you may ab absolutely see an apprehend apprehension. Mm, a figure. <laughs> saying uh but definitely i feel that you will be seeing him you will see something out of the corner of your eye it's not going to be a black shadow it's going to be actually like a transparent figure of him definitely uh maybe not now i feel that there's a time gap there's definitely a time gap but regardless you know he's mature now uh there's definitely growth here this is definitely taking some time but there's still 
heartbreak. You make it through each day. You do struggle still, but you're going to reach there where you're going to uh, reunite. I just heard. Thank you. Uh, in regards to communicating, but he keeps an eye on you. That's for darn sure. Absolutely. But he does not want you to worry. He does not want you to be upset. Okay. Uh, but you did everything that you could for sure. He definitely wants you to show that action bit by bit. He's not asking for miracles here. I also feel that he's going to present himself at night. It might freak you out a little bit. I'm just saying, because you'll be like, what's that? You know, uh, kind of thing, energy, but don't be freaked out. It's actually just him. I do see that you're going to have some kind of vision of him and you'll be like, what was that? You know, uh, and then you're going to be like, come back. You know, you're going to be like, come back. I want to see you again. You're going to do that kind of thing. Uh, he's going to show himself more time after time after time. But there's a huge, huge uh, energy in regards to releasing the guilt, releasing the, the shame. Why do I hear shame? There's nothing to be shameful of here. You did nothing wrong with this, okay? It just happened, you know? Uh, but I feel that it was kind of like um, things got out of control. Things got out of control. This could have been a, like a, a like a like an accident of some sort that he passed from. Uh, but definitely things were just spiraling out of control. There was like commotion around you or what have you when he passed and you didn't focus on him and there's that guilt, there's that guilt. So no, he does not want you to uh, live with that guilt no more, okay? But as you heal more and more, your energy of forgiving yourself, that's a huge factor, absolutely. Uh, but that is definitely going to change as time goes on. You will get your confirmation that he is around. That's for sure. If it's not by dreams, I do feel for whoever this is meant for. I feel like you you had a dream about your son here, but I do feel that there is more upcoming to give that confirmation that he is perfectly fine. He's safe. He's happy, you know, but he is more so worried about you and throwing the blame in your direction with, I just heard accident. So there was some kind of freak accident. I'm not saying like there was like what they're showing me, it was like a big field and, and they're like something, uh, there was like a family gathering. I, I don't know. There was a whole bunch of people and there was so commotion and then something happened. Uh, and he and he got into an accident here and that's how it happened some something like that it was like a freak like a fluke of, of a of an accident here uh but yeah it wasn't you know it was just an out of the ordinary kind of um, event you know that took place by his passing but it had nothing for you to feel guilty over you know there was a lot going on yeah they're showing me my uncle jack my uncle jack was actually a priest uh i know right and he used to have family gatherings at his uh uh what do you call it <laughs> at the at the at the church palace <laughs> you know at the at the the oh man i'm going to hell for that one uh but yeah i can't remember it man all right so i just don't want to lose their energy but yeah we used to have at the oh that's going to drive me nuts now but yeah at the place at the um where the priests live <laughs> They had like a baseball field. But anyway, it was something like that. It was, and we had, you know, we have a huge one side of the family and then there's grandkids. It was a lot of people. Something like that happened uh, is what they're showing me. So definitely, uh, and thank you for that. Re I, I'll please comment down below because that, I'm a Libra and that drives me nuts when I can't think of the right word. But definitely rectory, rectory, rectory. The other one for nuns is convent. So rectory, that's the word. Thank you. So definitely, Okay, uh, but definitely I feel that now there could be some kind of religious, uh, uh, you know, message there as well. Uh, you know, take what applies with that. But that was a weird story for them to bring that up. But my good old Uncle Jack was a priest uh, who threw every year we had a family reunion kind of thing, but it was wicked cool. But anyway, do not feel guilty. Okay, it was not your fault. Once you release that and that pain and that guilt, guilt is huge here, okay? It just happened, okay? Uh, you know, there's nothing that could have stopped it. Uh, you know, I should have, would have, could have, I keep hearing. Uh, but no, he does not want you to live with that guilt. And the more that time heals your energy, uh, I really feel that he's going to present himself in front of you uh, spiritually. You know, you're going to see a figure standing there and it's going to be mind blowing, you know, and I also feel you're literally going to say, do it again, do it again. Just confirm. Did I not just see that kind of thing? I do feel that as well. So, and I definitely feel that that, uh, 
uh, energy of your sun is going to present themselves at night. Now, spirits like to use the energy of the house just to give you a, an update, you know, as well as they they use our own energy, uh, our own physical energy. So be forewarned with that. So you may feel a little exhausted after you see them, a little drained, but, you know, you keep the lights off. They're using the energy of the home, okay, to, to help... Uh, uh, manifest themselves in front of you. So just to let you know. All right. So that is what I have. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate y'all watching. Let me now, let me know down in the comments section now that I discovered the rectory. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was, that was driving me nuts. Uh, but let me know if you enjoy these readings. If it is helping somebody out there, that is the goal here. I know they're general. I know they're not going to resonate but everybody, with everybody, but I surely hope it helps someone out there. You guys rock. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.